Local law enforcement are searching for a suspect in the murder of a street vendor near Alta and Pierce Avenues at about 4.30 this afternoon. Our Liv Johnson is live at the Fresno Police Department for us tonight with the latest. Liv. Well, Adrian, we still don't know the name of the street vendor who was shot and killed today in Fresno. We know that it was a male in his 30s or 40s, well known in the community, and now police are searching for answers. It's unfortunate that we live in a time that you know we can't trust our own community members. Police are searching for a black male suspect who shot and killed a street vendor on Sunday afternoon on South Pierce Avenue near Alta. According to Fresno Police Lieutenant Israel Reyes, officers were called to a possible robbery shooting around 4.35 p.m. Upon arrival, they found a man in his 30s or 40s with a gunshot wound to the head. He was taken to Community Regional Medical Center where he was pronounced dead. Reyes says there were many witnesses at the scene who told him the suspect called the vendor over as if he were going to purchase something and then shot the victim in the head as he was reaching for an item. Basically execution style. Police do not know if there is a personal connection between the vendor and the suspect, but they do believe the suspect took property from the vendor. This is the second murder of a street vendor in Fresno in just four months. You know, it's a very tragic event. Don't know why somebody would shoot a street vendor just trying to make a living. Fresno City Council President Luis Chavez releasing a statement saying, in part, quote, to the coward that murdered our food vendor, turn yourself in and face the consequences. You've brought tremendous pain to a family and our city. Chavez says there will also be a $5,000 reward for information leading up to the suspect's arrest. Lieutenant Reyes says he believes they have good video evidence that will help them identify the suspect. But if you have any information they're asking, you call the police department. Reporting live in Fresno, I'm Liv Johnson, CBS 47 Eyewitness News.